You at the Zoo is an eTech Ohio project produced in partnership with CET, Think TV, and the Cincinnati Zoo and Botanical Garden, with additional support provided by the Robert Gould Foundation. Hi, I'm Thane Maynard from the Cincinnati Zoo and Botanical Garden. And I'm Ebony from the You at the Zoo team. Today we're going to talk about how animals survive in their individual ecosystem. An ecosystem is an area where plants, animals, and even non-living things live and interact. An ecosystem can be as big as, say, a rainforest or a desert, or as small as a pond or even your home garden. Cheetahs have adapted to live in a big ecosystem called the savanna. To find out more about how they survive, let's check in with Linda Castaneda, a cat trainer here at the Cincinnati Zoo. Cheetahs live in the African savanna, and cheetahs are adapted to their habitat in order to survive in that environment. You'll see that she's got the black lines on her face. They're called malar stripes, and they help block the glare of the sun. They've got very large eyes, giving them a vision of about three miles. They can see really well in the savanna. The beautiful black spots help them to camouflage when they're out in the savanna, so their prey doesn't see them coming, and they can sneak up on them. And long legs for running. Since the gazelle out in the savanna are pretty fast, they have to be equally as fast, if not faster, to be able to catch those gazelle. And one of the most unique things about cheetah is that their nails, like dogs, stick out all the time. And they're kind of like track shoes that helps them dig into the earth when they're running. They have one dangerous claw on their body on each front leg. It's their dew claw. And they have figured out that you don't really have to chase after your prey and catch them. You just have to reach out and trip them. And that's exactly what they do with their dew claw. And then higher up, they do have little triangular pads, and those are their brakes. Their tails, in addition to being fun toys, um, their tails are like a rudder on a boat. And that tail moves from side to side to create a counterbalance. So when they're making a quick turn, they won't fall and then lose their Food. A cheetah would not be able to survive in modern day in the western United States. It's thought that about 13,000 years ago, cheetah did roam North America. However, they are used to living in the African savanna, which is a pretty warm place, so they wouldn't be able to survive the winters here. They might be able to survive somewhere like the southwest. Arizona, New Mexico would match their habitat a little bit better, although I don't think that they'd have a good time climbing on the cactus out there. The wide open landscape of the savanna ecosystem is great for running. Trees like hurdles would slow a cheetah down. Training for a marathon, Ebony? No way. Cheetahs are sprinters. They're super fast. But they can't keep up their speed for more than half a minute. Listen to you at the zoo team to see if they can sprint like a cheetah and survive on the savanna. Hi, I'm Tori. Hi, I'm Trinity. Hi, I'm William, and today we're going to be investigating cheetahs. Ladies and gentlemen, the fastest animal on land, the African cheetah. In the summer, we have a summer show here at the zoo, and we run our cheetahs and present our other small cats. This is Sarah. Watch that speed and intensity. She chases after a lure, which is a fluffy toy. Even though they're natural runners, they do have to learn to chase the lure because initially they're afraid of it. Watch the legs go forward for that stop. All right, you guys, Sarah ran this in nine seconds. Now we're going to see how well you can do. I think I can run it in one minute and 30 seconds. I predict three minutes. I can run it in 20 seconds. Are you excited? Yeah. yeah. Go. Cheetahs have a very impressive stride. As humans, we have a stride of about maybe two and a half feet. A cheetah, when they're running, their stride reaches about 26 feet. Go! And the reason they have this great stride is because they have a very flexible spine. They can run about 16 to 70 miles an hour. And it's said that if a horse had the same spinal structure as a cheetah, it would be able to run 90 miles an hour. Go! And what this means for them is that they're able to cover greater distances in a shorter period of time, allowing them to catch their prey hopefully faster since they expend so much energy when they're chasing after their food. All right, guys, the run is over. How'd you do? Good. I got 25 seconds. I got 19 seconds. I got 25 seconds. Great job, you guys. Did you know that the world's fastest land mammal lives right here at the Cincinnati Zoo? In 2009, our own cheetah, Sarah, set the record by sprinting 100 meters in just 6.16 seconds. Then she turned around and ran the course again. She broke her own record with a time of 6.13 seconds. I'm Thane Maynard. And I'm Ebony. And, and we'll, we'll see you at the zoo. zoo.